Good luck, all. Here we go. Modern Horizons. Let's do this. Just like last Tuesday, we got ourselves into the Modern Horizons pack. Here we go. It can be done. Yeah, I like the group hug mill strategy. I guess, yeah. You need multiple opponents almost. Because if you just make your opponent draw a bunch of cards. That's, um... And like four or five player commander games are like take forever anyways. <laughs> but still fun. I mean, I, we play multi other commander every time me and my, my cousins and I get together. All right, that's right. Have, we've seen this card before. I think we've seen this guy already. Nice. I like the blood drip. The art card actually looks pretty good on this. Get a little close up. Snow-covered mountain. That might be... I'm going to put the snow-covered lands in... Um, into my uh, commander deck. This might be the last land I need because I'm going to sw swap out the regular basics for the snow lands and, and see if I can get benefit from putting a two uh, snow permanent or two in there. And you can, um, these are fetchable as basics, right? If you f search for a basic land or base, uh, uh, you know, search for any mountain. So I think, uh, I think I might uh, use those snow lands. All right, guys, here we go. Very political with the opponents, yeah. Yeah, I don't tend to like those games where like the the, the political discussion and talking ends up being louder than the or longer than the actual people take to make their turns. You know, if you do this, then I'll do this. If you do that, then I want to play the cards. You know, sometimes some people are like they'll, they'll make threats, like I'm gonna play this card unless you do these things next turn, and it's like. That's pushing the line a little bit, in my opinion. But we are getting a nice collection now of uh, these modern uh, Horizons cards to do a little uh, cube. We'll put together some. Hey, there's a cycling card. All right, first uncommon. Uh oh, I haven't seen a gin in, in ages, it seems like. Cool. They reprinted gins in Modern Horizons. It deals damage to any target equal to the number of cards you've drawn. This is actually a good. I thought normally these effects. There's gins I thought were supposed to be like cheap and then they like, hurt you. This one is like kind of pricey and then he's actually really good. So they've uh, they've remade gins. <laughs> All right. Ooh, we got a talisman. Anyone looking for the green blue talisman? That's not bad. That's still worth a little pretty penny. Ooh, we got the art card for this guy. Someone to get it. I think Tim picked the art card for Face of Divinity. As long as another aura is attached to enchanted creature, it is first strike and lifelink. As long as another aura. So you gotta get three auras on a creature, and then it's Yeah, that's that's a little risky, but uh Alright, printed it uncommon. What's gonna be our rare in this one? Force of Rage. Wow, I like the art on that one. I like that we got the mountain and then the Force of Rage. If it's not your turn, you may exile a red card from your hand. Oh, interesting. So you can play this during your opponent's turn. Kind of like a um, Force of Will. Create two 3 1 elemental tokens with Trample and Haste. Sacrifice them at the beginning of your next upkeep. Oh, upkeep. Okay. Force of Rage. Aiden's looking for the Talisman. You got it, buddy. Let's sleeve the Talisman. Talisman's pretty good. I'm going to let you draw. Exactly. How many cards do you have to draw to make him not mad at destroying creatures? Yeah. That's not a magic game I want to play. I, I, like, I like just perfecting the strategy. Just looking at strategy. All right, Aiden says Talisman. You got it, buddy. Nice little uh, Simic there. Talisman of Curiosity. We got a pretty pretty thick stack for you, my friend. I'll have to get a, a backup uh, a bag for you soon. All right, let's take a look at the value on Force of Rage. Come on, somehow be... What is it, a rare? Force of Rage. But hey, good turnout today, guys. Thanks for thanks for coming in. We, we reach any day on a Tuesday where we reach a good half dozen viewers, and the, the counts are really updated. We got we got uh, you know quite a few of our um, you know our uh, fans coming in, returning. You know, you guys uh, really appreciate it. Force of Rage, Modern Horizons, twelve cents. 20, 20 cents. Ah, 
Come on, Modern Horizons. I mean, that that one that one Sarah the Benevolent, you know, opening made for like a lot of lackluster six dollars uh, Modern Masters packs. Right? We've we've gotten actually we've gotten three of the lands, so we we've done well on the lands. We've gotten a few amount of the dual lands. I think did we just get the white black one, if I'm not mistaken, in the last stream or two for my um. It's gonna go in my um, uh, modern deck when I when I play that um, that token deck again. But um, that's why I like the mystery packs. I mean, there's every pack you get like a two or three dollar card. It seems like in the mystery packs. I mean, the value will have to go down if they print enough boxes. But I can't wait to start opening mystery boxes. So every tier one, tier two subscriber, I want a mystery pack to give away a mystery pack uh, to each of you guys each month going forward. So. Um, Oh yeah, the Sarah. Yeah, this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the foil. This is what we opened last week on Tuesday stream. We we opened a uh, a um, uh, the the rare. We opened a ten dollar card. We opened uh, what was it? Gills. I keep wanting to say Pernicious Deep, but that's not the um, the card I'm thinking of. Give me one second. We we opened like the second most valuable the removal spell from um, from Gills. It's definitely, I think that one's already in my commander deck. Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, we opened an Assassin's Trophy. So then we opened uh, uh, an extra b uh, bonus uh, a Master's Pack like we did today. So yeah, the Assassin's Trophy, that was fun. And then yeah, this uh, this little Sarah. Uh, Kevin just told me I can't make it as my commander. But I'm going to play that ultimate format where you can have the Planeswalker's commander and you get the spell. It's called like Oathsworn or something. So yeah, Sarah, Sarah, um, the Benevolent. And again, Sarah Angel was my favorite creature when I played 4th edition. I liked her even better than the um, Shivan uh, Dragon because I had a couple of her. And uh, now you can just make them. The regular price is like, yeah, $7 for the normal. Oh yeah, we opened the foil. We, we cracked the foil. And then we, Michael Marcucci was there. He was the first one in that episode. And then I think Kaiser came in a little bit later. And uh, so we, we let Mike Marcucci take it over as his... Uh, it's Planeswalker. Yeah, we opened a little, like a $35. And I always say, like, I'm going to, I always say, like, I'm going to sell the cards. You know, we, oh, we crack a big card, we're going to sell it, and then we can buy another half box, you know, from there. It's like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a mono white deck out of her. So we're keep, we're keeping this bad boy for the stream. Furby's in the house. What's going on, Furby? We don't have any Ikoria boxes, unfortunately. I would love to open some. What are we, 10 days? I think we're 10 days out from getting two boxes of Ikoria plus a collector's uh, box in the mail. So we're looking for it. So, yeah, our little Sarah, $35. That's the most valuable card on stream. That beats our two Brazen Borrower Showcase cards that we've opened. Uh, maybe put together almost. So, yeah, we got to make a replay of our last Tuesday's episode, actually. All right. Yeah, I, I agree. Mystery packs, because also it's like nostalgia. You go back, you go through, you know, old um, sets and so much variety things to talk about on stream. So, yeah, this is going to be the Mystery Booster theme. As soon as, I mean, I'll just buy a case and we'll just open them until they're gone. I don't know how many boxes, I, you know, the, um, you know, my game store. He said he's got like a pallet or something on back, back order. I think they did it with the stores get mystery boost or order for fulfill for free or something. Wizards did something where they were going to um, try to help game stores, but they just haven't given them to the game stores and, you know, yet forever. So we're going to have a ton of mystery boosters to open here. So, yeah, we did. We did get the, uh, the foil. Uh, <laughs> hey, voice of cast in the house. Playing is better than collecting. I know, I know. I used to only collect, but uh, Kev's here, uh, Voice of Chaos, and we make decks and we'll play all the time. Can't wait to make the uh, play the uh, modern deck again. Ah, do a heads up mystery booster draft. So with two players, you get every other pick in your pack. So you really get to pay attention to what the other person's drafting. How do you guys like two player drafts? What do you What do you think about that? Interesting. 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 So this, uh, this Thundering Djinn, is that worth anything? It used to be all the Djinns and the Freaks were worth, uh, worth some money. Thundering. Love the Djinns. Anyone looking for a Djinn? Voice of Chaos? Djinn up for grabs, Modern Horizons. <laughs> Jim wants him. It would be fun at some point if, like, let, let's say hypothetically, someday my girlfriend moves here to the U.S. and like she's not real big into magic, but she's like around enough so she knows the cards. So like, 
she could be texting and like be playing as one of the viewers. So we do like a little draft here, me, Kev, you know, whoever else is around me, Woodland Druid. And then we have someone, um, someone playing uh, the draft with like a special camera and they're like controlling uh, uh, Pi. She, she, would, uh, she would be up for it. And uh, then we draft and, and play games uh, with someone remote. That would, that would be kind of fun. We'll see if we could do it. Or it could just be me, like, if it's the game where I'm not playing. So. All right, guys. Hey, we got a lot of people in chat here. Let me know rares or foils. Let's get you guys some extra cards. Jim's here, so I know you're probably not going to pick uh, foils. Let me know if uh, uh, if you guys want some extra cards. We did open five packs today. It was a good stream. But we still got people, you know, coming in. We got to keep the, the stream going a little bit longer. We got a couple giveaways. We got this uh, this rarity open today uh, for grabs. And uh, Force of Rage, uh, Kev. Red Mage. Force of Mage. Uh, Force of uh, Force of Rage. Card you might uh, might play in one of your decks. Now that I see how many Kev's decks, it's just like, man, he could have cards for... Uh, whatever. We got this, uh, this cool card from our M15 pack. Uh, this is a little bonus. You got the card plus the token. The Tree Folk token rare. Power and toughness equal to the number of force you control. Comes into play and you get a bonus with him. You can blink him a bunch and uh, get a bunch of creatures. So that's one of the rares. Oh yeah, Wishclaw Talisman. So we do have a fair amount of rares. Oh, Jim, yeah, we'll open you a Modern Horizons. No worry, buddy. Okay, Kaiser said, I'll do the Face of Divinity Aura. All right, let me see. I think I, think I set that aside. Yeah, I like the art on this guy. Face of Divinity. Cool. All right, going to, going to our man, Kaiser. Dovin. All right. Aiden says, I'll take it. Uh, Aiden, just let me know which card you were looking for. Was it the Force of Rage? Was it the, uh, was it the uh, Tree Folk Warrior? Yeah, these, these are all up for grabs. Um, I got you. The, uh, the, some of the other forces are pretty cool. Okay, Jim, yeah, we'll get you a pack. No worries. I've got, uh, yeah, I've got a stack. Let me see where I put them. Yeah, Jim, I got a, I, I found a whole stack of uh, Theros commons. We had some uncommons too. So yeah, we got some. Uh, yeah, we, we got a pretty big. Plus, we got a, a full mailer for you. So I've been setting aside the Theros cards for you that we, as we've been opening them. Um, all right, we do have some more rares. Okay, the rage is up for grabs. Yep, you got it. Uh, Aiden's looking for the rage. He says. Makes me think of Rage Against the Machine. All right, Force of Rage. I like the art, actually. This is... I would say my top five, top ten, definitely art in Modern Horizons. I like the card. It reminds me a little bit old school. You know what this reminds me a little bit? What was that... Um, that card back in... Incarnation. There was a fourth edition card. It was white. It was some kind of incarnation. Incarnation. It was a 6-6... Six, six. There he is. In a revised. For some reason, just the way he's standing, maybe? Yeah, he's got the shield and sword. This card just reminded me. Div uh, personal. Personal incarnation. Yeah, anybody play this card? Avatar back in the day? Yes. Personal incarnation. Right? And I, this is one of my favorite art. Yeah. This is one of my favorite art of 4th uh, edition. Obviously, Sarah Angel, number one. But I was playing mono white. I was I was mono white back when I collected fourth edition. I used to have a couple personal incarnations. They're probably worth nothing. I should just buy them. Them and the Balduvian hordes. It's gonna be like I'm just gonna have hundreds of them until the price goes to a dollar. I know six six was. Uh, well, I played mono white, so that didn't. But six turn, yeah. But it was again it was six six. six. Yeah. Yeah, personal incarnation. Love it. This this for some reason this is kind of the the artwork, right? The guy holding the sword. Beat, beating back the opponents. All right, back back to uh, back to the pack. So we got that for uh, Aiden.